Souls. This is Anu Grace, and today I want to talk about uh, scarcity mentality and how to change that. But first, I'd like to uh, invite you to my free training program, and the link is uh, in in this um, video, freechristallinegoddess.com. Please join me on uh, Wednesday. But I wanted to talk about scarcity because we really live in a scare, uh, in a world that's uh, based on scarcity for, for, for so for the most part when we look around we see scarcity everywhere and it's in our minds it's 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 in our thoughts it's in our consciousness it's in our bodies it's in our relationships it's in our time management it's, it's in our wallets it's everywhere and this, with the scarcity mentality, we have a difficulty in uh, dreaming, um, really going after our dreams and reaching our highest potential. And uh, we're scared of dreaming because, because it takes courage. And there is this uh, chance of failing. And so many, too many people are, get stuck in, I can't do this, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not good enough, it's just not possible for me. I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time. We have those scarcity beliefs, those scarcity thoughts that run the show for us. And having scarcity thoughts and feelings uh, really, guide us the wrong to, to the wrong path. It takes us to those unfulfilled uh, dreams and, and, uh, and, and needs. We, we just can't find fulfillment when we are filled with scarcity. Often we think about, when we think about the word scarcity, what comes to your mind? Oh, money, I don't have enough money. That's the first thing that comes usually to people's mind. And it's very understandable because um, we live in a world where money uh, is such a big deal. We, um, we sell our time in our everyday lives to make money. And then what we do, we don't have so much free time. When we think about the world, there's a whole lot of people work so hard for the money. And it's ex living is expensive. We have to pay the rent. We have to pay the bills. And uh, we're stretching the dollar a lot in um, in this world and some people don't even have enough even if they work all those hours so but I want to talk about scarcity as a, as a general energy so it, it really comes in many forms it comes in a form of time and uh, and um, um, relationships and, and health and, and just overall um, mindset in our, our, our lives. So it comes in so many different forms. But I want to show, show an example of the abundant universe we live in. And the scarcity comes from a negative. It comes from ego base. It comes from fear. It doesn't come from the universe. It doesn't come from God. It doesn't come from the crystalline vibration. It doesn't come from your authentic self. When you breathe in, when I breathe in here, I breathe in and out and I breathe in and out again. And I know as you're watching this, you're breathing in, you're breathing out. Are you afraid because I'm breathing here that there's not enough air for you? Or do you just trust that there is automatically enough air for you to breathe, even if I'm breathing? <laughs> of course you're not worried about if there's enough air there's enough air that we live in a abundant planet so much air for us all but if i breathe a little bit more deeper <sighs> if i go to the beach and i just keep breathing my lungs filled with air is there going to be less air for you to breathe no, there's not going to be less air for you to breathe. You're still going to have more than enough air to breathe. You are safe. And the same goes with everything. With money, time, relationships, love, 
everything in this abundant universe. The only thing that keeps us from having all the love we desire, all the money we need and desire, all the health, the full vitality and health, the only thing that keeps us from it is scarcity. And scarcity, when that is at the core of our human experience, when we feel not, we don't feel safe, when that foundation is not based on solid love and abundance, then it, it, it manifests in so many different ways in us people. It can manifest in a way uh, that make us depressed and, and anxious and angry and make us do like there's a lot of people in this world who live in the scarcity mindset and hurt others because they think they need to do that. They steal, they, they resort to all kinds of violence and lower vibrations because they are afraid of not having enough. It is a deeply rooted belief that if, I, if, if, you, if you are successful, then you're a threat to me. So we try to sabotage others. When we see lovers, maybe somebody feels envious of that. From scarcity mentality, we feel envious of that because it makes me, us feel lack. We feel like we don't have that. Well, why should they have it? And we think negatively and we try to possibly even break those up. It's happening all the time in this world we see somebody making a lot of money we become envious instead of celebrating each other's success so the scarcity is when we say money is the root of all evil no 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 money is neutral scarcity mentality could be called the root of all evil because it just leads to so much unhappiness and unfulfilled wants and desires and needs. So that, that, that is the one big mistake that we feel like we can't have enough money or we can't have enough yeah, we can't have enough money because there's not enough to go around. We can't have enough food because there's not enough to go around. We always feel like we're running out or we're running out of time. Oh, I'm aging. I'm running out of time. So I can't do this anymore. I can't do that anymore. We're making rules for ourselves. What is possible based on scarcity thinking, which is actually the opposite we have all the time we need we have all the money we need and we can always call on more in this infinite unlimited universe there is enough of everything to go around for everyone <laughs> so many times over there is enough money business love health, abundant, full health, all of that is here. We just need to shift that scarcity mindset. And it is a mindset. We believe it's something real because we're so used to it. It's become our belief system, but beliefs can be changed. We can change them. We don't have to continue with the scarcity any more. But in the way we can let that scarcity go, the, the only way is to shift the way we feel with the way we look at things. We cannot allow, we have to be warriors of light and stop thinking that way. And one beautiful way of truly embracing the new abundant reality that you want to create for yourself is gratitude. There are many things I could talk about in this short video, but I'm going to give you the quickest way of being, bringing the alignment with the abundance of the universe. That is 
gratitude. And even if you're feeling really, really low or you feel very poor and you have a hard time raising your vibration to joy or happiness or abundance, gratitude is easier to tune into because we can always go back to breathing. I'm grateful that there is always enough air. It's easy because it's always the truth. It's the truth. Very, very rare circumstances do we not have enough air. That is extremely rare. And most likely will never apply to you. In our lives, we have abundance of air. So we can always use that. If we, have, if we can't come up with anything else, just be grateful for the air and then let it grow from there on oh, so grateful that i i have a job i'm so grateful to have a home i'm so grateful that this person is in my life i'm so grateful that these children are in my life i'm so grateful that that uh, i can see i'm so grateful to this and that and, and it just keeps growing 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 and once you reach that gratitude energy that that frequency where it starts feeling like you're in the wrong, you're just thinking about things to be grateful for, then you are counteracting your scarcity mindset, self-sabotage, because that's exactly what scarcity does to you. It sabotages your dreams because it will keep you in, I can't, it's not possible, I'm not good enough, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time, all those things are scarcity, but gratitude can help you shift that frequency. There are, of course, deeply rooted a lot of things we need to work on within ourselves in order to really be able to rise up above that scarcity mentality. So this is why I'm also offering a free, uh, free training uh, and that will be held. It's a live training on Wednesday, October 10th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I hope you can be there. And, um, and you can always also download my free um, video series, freegoldengracecode.com, and start with the video program. And I'll explain you a lot. I really help you lift your vibration there. And then you can get on this journey of releasing those deeply rooted, unwanted belief patterns that hold you in scarcity, hold you in a way of keeping that love, your, that sacred love away from you, keeping those, that money from flowing into your life, keeping all your dreams. It's, you're pushing them away with the scarcity mentality. So let's come back to our authentic self and you can start with gratitude and uh, by joining my free training. And uh, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Many blessings, lots of love. Bye-bye.